Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the final video on the prelims on Team Finland, as of course, uh, Team Finland, uh, after losing their final game of the prelims, um, is going to be taking, or losing their second to last game, excuse me, to Switzerland, and winning their final game of the prelims against ROC, blowing them out, is going to take on Japan on Saturday at at 16.40 would be the time for that game. Um, Finland, obviously, against Switzerland. Switzerland, uh, they're going to be playing ROC in the playoffs. <clears throat> um, they've been... They've been a solid team in the tournament, but not the most impressive. I mean, they got, obviously, we expect them to get blown out by Canada, Switzerland. They lost to ROC um, earlier in the year, and then, of course, Switzerland beats um, Finland, who then beat ROC the next game, and then they beat Finland, uh, which is their only win there. So, um, th did Switzerland play great in the preliminaries? Not by any stretch of the imagination. They got the win over Finland. But to flip it for uh, Finland, um, they actually did play minus really that Switzerland game uh, where they, well, no, they, they played a good game in that game. They just lost. But they, they played a pretty good tournament. Canada, we knew they were going to get blown out by. Uh, Canada uh, was the team that was blowing everybody out, it seemed like. Even against the United States, though, Finland even losing 5-2. I thought, I watched that whole game, obviously, being a U.S. fan. I thought they played a solid game to keep it closer than... Um, maybe some would have expected, but uh, they're a very talented, very skilled team, and I don't expect anything less of them when they go out there each night. It's just Canada was really murdering everybody, and that's what they did against uh, Finland. Finland did fall to Switzerland. I would say if I had to pick the main culprit like I've done for the other videos, uh, Branley also played a absolutely fantastic game again. Uh, so that would go into it, Brandley playing an absolutely fantastic game. And then on the flip side, what goes into Finland losing that game and Switzerland winning it is the power play. Yeah, Finland scored on one power play, but Switzerland capitalized on both and had a hot as a firecracker goaltender. So that is what uh, prevailed them past Finland in that game, in my opinion. Now, for the routing of ROC, ROC really hasn't impressed me at all. Um, in this tournament, again, I'm new to women's hockey, but watching them in this, they were okay in a couple games, and, like, they just weren't really that good of a team in this tournament. It'll be interesting to see what they uh, do going forward, but Finland smoked them uh, 5 to nothing. That game was no contest. It seemed like the Finns were mad after the last game. Shots were only 30-19, to 19, which is not a huge disparity to be smoked 5 to nothing. but the difference is, again, uh, similar to how they only got one power play goal, and uh, Switzerland was able to prevail because of the power plays. Finland was able to prevail. Um, well, not prevail. They would have won this game anyway, but they were able to have an even bigger win because of the fact that ROC was undisciplined and were taking bad penalties. And that is what was able to get them this win. They had three power play goals in only five minutes and 40, or 54 seconds of power play time. So that's really good for Team Finland. This has been a video reacting to Team Finland. Um, winning one and losing one in their last two games, winning one against ROC, losing one against Switzerland, and a very hot goaltender in Branley, where the power play was the difference in favor of Switzerland in that game. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Enjoy your day, and stay safe out there.